We are here within the Greater World Earthship community. We will eventually have 130 Earthships here. At first glance, it seems like something straight from a Star Trek episode. Buildings that more closely resemble intergalactic spaceships than single-family homes. And the similarity doesn't end there. Each home is a cell that independently takes care of its inhabitants. Independent of public utilities and completely off the grid, solar energy from these solar panels fuel these heavy-duty batteries, which, in essence, power the entire Earthship. Those batteries go into what we call a power organizing module, the brains of this whole building. Indeed, it is a living, breathing organism, generating its own electricity, constantly collecting and treating its own water. So Earthships use zero water when it comes to flushing. And 40% of all water in conventional homes is for flushing their toilet. Earthships even produce their own food, vegetables, fruit, fungi, and aromatic spices, all grown in a greenhouse that doubles as climate control. The double greenhouse tricks the home into thinking that the outside temperature is only at 50 degrees, even if it's 25 below zero outside. Temperatures in these greenhouses can reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius. But the beauty of these homes is they're designed for convection air. In essence, a natural air conditioning system. By simply opening these Velux windows and the skylight behind me, it creates a constant cool airflow throughout the house. And on those hot days, this open skylight provides natural ventilation, pushing the hot air out and keeping the cool air in. This is the true definition of green building. Not just in theory, but in practice. That's because these sustainable homes are made entirely of earth and trash. It's beautiful about a wall is garbage. That's right. The byproducts of society, your garbage and mine, have become the building blocks of these homes. This here is recycled appliances from the dump and we make it for roof shingling. From rammed earth tires that double as home insulation, aluminum cans that serve as wall foundation. They are indigenous to the entire planet. Support beams fashioned from rotted pine trees, that's what earth ships are made of. Told I was an idiot and incompetent for building with garbage and running sewage through the living room. Now the man behind the masterpieces, Mike Reynolds, is seen as somewhat of a genius. PH group, what'd you get? as people travel here from around the world to live in and learn about Earthship's enterprises. Yekanta McGahee, CCTV, Taos, New Mexico.